But all folks, Milan's 2022. When's the last time I made a video about this thing that I do now a lot? Just every year. Um, I want to say something because I guess I'm kind of part of it now. I feel like part of it, and I said something earlier today. So it's basically Toyota is one, two, uh, and they have been, yeah, the whole time. Um, and I just was listening to the commentary. Apparently, the other way, I mean, they have a ridiculous lead, but they're literally just one and two. Uh, and apparently the competition be between them, the pace, uh, <laughs> for the past, um, little while, uh, and I don't really, I don't know the translation, you know, I'm not hearing the words, but they've been asked to please, uh, chill out between themselves, the, the pace between themselves, because, you know, who pays for sales? Um, and last year, uh, I'm in the year before it, I think I was like, well, so I don't want again. Um, the year before that I was, it was a big deal because the year before that, I'm not going to tell that story, but basically other than to say Toyota had it, except in the last inch, something failed. I got to see them leaping, and it's all, you know, and then, so the, the, my narrative, which no one asked for, and is completely uninformed, has been like, well, they're just gonna, they're just gonna fucking, the revenge is to win by such an, such a degree, over and over and over again, for as long as they possibly can, to just drill into our heads, I don't know, maybe to forget, I don't know, I don't know what they think, so, well, I was thinking about <clears throat> that, you know, these races actually do have consequences. Le Mans is not NASCAR. Um, it's not Formula One. Uh, it is more in common with, like, solar racing. Like the one that all those college kids get together and race solar cars. Not quite, but industry stuff does come out of a lot. More sp the World Endurance Championship, FIA, etc. Um, and in the context of what's going on in the automotive industry right now, uh, you know, it doesn't take someone who follows cars much to know that Toyota has always been, basically, uh, the company that just drills really hard down on quality and value. Uh, and that's, that's the thing, is like making a really, really, really solid product. Uh, and by solid, I don't mean, I don't mean, um, in girth, uh, but yeah, it doesn't take more explanation than that. And I was thinking about how, um, of course, I've ran about Tesla, right? But like, kind of Tesla, literally, by I think more probably by its narrative about itself. Oopsie, uh believes that it's a, it, right, it thinks of itself as the disruptor. Uh, I would imagine, especially to companies like Toyota, who uh, um, we literally pay at the oh, American auto industry was being whooped by their ass so bad that we paid them millions of dollars to come and tell us what was doing, what we were doing wrong, only because the government said that they wouldn't bail us out if we didn't do that. They humiliated us. I hope they remember that. Um, with competence, core competence. And, you know, I'm not an age old motorsport fan, but, uh, of course, 
what I think my favorite moments um, that I have witnessed in the Mons, they've been kind of hairy. I, re uh, I really, I do like it when people take risks. I don't know, it's maybe it's a testosterone thing. Um, but it's ultimately kind of old fashioned in the face of, and, and just not appropriate in the face of this particular challenge. Um, endurance racing. That's them, by the way. Uh, which is one of discipline. What am I even say? Like, kind of a gumption? I, a gumption is the thing that I swear, it probably doesn't make any sense to anyone else, but like, uh, it's, there are not, like, these people are not really, the, it's not celebrity that propels them, it's not money, really. Bad drivers, anyway. Um, it's, uh, it's this ridiculous challenge. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rambling. What I'm trying to say is, I came to the, to the realization that it's not that Toyota should be, it's not that it's like a reprimand, a re re reparations for that accident, uh, that shitty thing that happened to them. Cause it, you know, it's actually just that right now, in this particular moment, in the auto industry and technology industry and, and in racing, their core philosophies should be winning and obviously are. And it's actually a important thing that they're just, uh, it's not bravado. It's not, um, Oh God, anyway, everyone says panache after that. Like, Whatever. Look at their faces. Look at the Toyota team's faces. It's literally just concentration. Um, and I understand that that is, uh, it's, it's be, like, the, look at it because it's not sexy being successful. <laughs> it's not like, uh, modern life is going to be more and more of the real heroism being in discipline. If you know me at all, you know I'm talking to myself. But, uh, Toyota, speed on. Ye incredible, uh, I don't know. I, I can't imagine. It, to me, it looked like you guys just kind of, like the Toyota people don't really. I don't know if they like don't really run in the same crowds as the rest of the WC. Maybe I don't really know anything about them, um, except that they've just been doing this thing for well now it's been like the majority of the years I watched, where they just show up and just fucking crush. And when I say crush, I don't mean <clears throat> I mean they're just sit I don't, yeah. Uh, Toyota, you're you're distinctly. Frankly, a little bit dull. Domination of this sport uh, is a is a great exemplification of just doing the job right. Watch, they're gonna lose really bad or something this year. Cool racing. Anywho. Well, uh, that that does not make it any really more entertaining to watch. There we go. There we go. The two guys, the two elite human beings who uh, just fuck off. <laughs> just fucking fuck off. Bye.